I have been trophy hunting for 15 years, 15 long years, and I have seen every type of trophy and game imaginable, and no trophy or platinum has escaped me. I've platinumed everything and gotten every trophy, apart from the FIFA 10 DLC, which is the only thing preventing me from getting 100% perfect account, but let, let's just ignore that. I have platinumed Max Payne 3, I have become a three-time world champion in three different weight class in Fight Night Round 4, and in UFC 4 I became an online champion or in the Blitz mode, whatever. I've done first-person shooters, I've done long-ass RPGs like Persona 5, Persona 4, Final Fantasy 7 Remake, I've done mad action games like Vanquish, I, I have platinumed the shit out of loads of games and I've done that consistently for 15 years. So. Then I decided to play The Evil Within. You know, I'm quite fond of the uh, survival horror genre, you know, Silent Hill is uh, one of my favourite games of all time, but most notably Silent Hill 3, but this isn't really the place to discuss which is the best Silent Hill game. So considering I've platinumed a faster array of games and accumulated 170 platinums in my 15 years of trophy hunting, The Evil Within just seemed like quite, you know, just another game to platinum, another one to knock off the wall and put up hood up and go, ah oh, yay, look at me, I've platinumed Evil Within, aren't I fantastic? But what happened was actually quite the opposite. Uh, upon starting the game, I quickly stopped playing games and trophy hunting completely. Like, completely. Like, the game just destroyed that 15 year passion of mine, just killed it stone dead immediately. Um, I don't know if it was maybe like a fatigue or just the wrong game at the wrong time or what happened, but there was something about that trophy list that it just ruined the game. For me, the fundamental issue was it required you to play the game a certain way that would make it so difficult just right out the gate. Because the first playthrough, all the trophy guides recommend that you don't upgrade any weapon or any of your stats. You just go in, you get the first playthrough done and get that annoying trophy out of the way. So I just did not enjoy it at all. <laughs> like I... I just remember trying to like find all the collectibles, boss battles were unnecessarily tough, and it just, I don't know, man, it just, it just ruined the game, I just stopped playing, so, um, around May last year, I just, I just stopped gaming, and I think I didn't get a platinum for five months, four or five months, and I kind of slowly crept back into trophy hunting and playing games, I think it was God of War Ragnarok that kind of pulled me back from the brink. So I kind of accepted that I'm never going to plat this game. It just rubbed me the completely wrong way. Um, it just seemed too in involved and just annoying to plat them. And I was just like, you know what? If there's one game on my list I don't plat, it's not the end of the world. I've nothing, nothing to prove, you know, nothing to prove to anyone. It's fine. Recently, though, I was uh, cleaning up my list. And it's gotten to the point where The Evil Within is the only game on my list that I haven't gotten the Platinum for. So it's the one roadblock that's preventing me from obtaining every possible trophy on my list, again, apart from the fucking FIFA 10 DLC, but whatever. I was talking to Dan, and he motivated me, and he said, Man, you got this, you can do this, you, you, you're, you're, you're good, you can do this. So I have decided that I'm going to go for it. I, Far Cry 2 didn't stop me, Fight Night Round 4 didn't stop me, I'm going to platinum this game if it kills me. So, if I'm going to actually platinum this game, I'm going to need to come up with a game plan here, people. So, I've earmarked the most troublesome trophies. So, number one is, it is what it is. Finish the game without upgrading any skills with green gel. That is a playthrough in and of itself, and hopefully I can knock that out fairly quick uh, because I'm already like halfway through the game. You ask for it, finish the game on Akumu mode. Now that is a one hit super super duper tough mode that I'm quite worried about. That seems like it's going to be quite uh, annoying. So the next troublesome trophy is the quick and the dead which is to finish the game with a clear time of under five hours. These survival horror games love a good speed run, don't they? They just love it. And the other kind of annoying trophies would be the DLC, because I'm a DLC guy, a bit of a completionist, if you will. So, um, there's uh, two playthroughs, essentially for every DLC, three maybe for the Executioner. So, these are the kind of annoying 
trophies are the ones that I've earmarked. If I can get these, the platinum is mine. So, if I can platinum this game, I will have completed my trophy list. No backlog, no unobtained platinums. It's going to be just nice and clean and finished. Let's go platinum the evil within. <laughs> ha ha ha. Ha. Fucking hell. So I'm at the beginning of this journey. Well, not really. I've kind of set it up where I've been playing a little bit. I unlocked a few trophies, so I'm hoping to finish the first playthrough right now. So join me as, as, as I do it. The thing is, like, on paper, this, you know, it's from the director of Resident Evil 4, which, you know, it's Resident Evil 4, and it's survival horror, and, you know, I adore survival horror, so I, it is so bizarre to me that this is the game that made me quit trophy hunting, not the Tomb Raider multiplayer. It's weird, man. So, first playthrough done. Yay! I didn't think I'd ever get past like 6% of trophy completion on this, so this is great. This is great. Okay, I'm not seeing the option to unlock a Kumu. This could be a problem. This could be a big problem. Okay, already hit a roadblock. <laughs> Instantly. So it turns out that um, you can't unlock a Kumu mode uh, if you finish the game on casual. So because I decided to drop the game down to casual to make that first playthrough go easy, just to ease into this platinum, I'm actually being punished for that. And yeah, that kind of sucks ass because now I need to do an entirely new playthrough. So it's now become four playthroughs. I swear to God, this pl this game and this platinum just, just hates me. Okay, so this means um, another playthrough. Fucking hell, man. Oh, this game. So I guess it kind of makes sense to utilize um, all the weapons and upgrades for New Game Plus just to kind of make it easier. But that is another playthrough. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, and the other annoying thing is, is that I can't do a New Game Plus on a higher difficulty. So I'm tied in on easy. So that New Game Plus, all those tasty upgraded weapons that I went back and upgraded after unlocking the trophy for not upgrading any skills, I can't actually utilize any of them. So, great. I, I, I just have another annoying playthrough. Fucking great start. Great start. I think if I quit trophies again, it might just be easier. Okay, I've, I've just had a brainwave, okay. I'm thinking maybe I start a new game on standard and I try to speed run it. That way I knock, I remove a playthrough, an unnecessary playthrough, um, I get the speed run done and I unlock a Kumu. Um, and I don't need to worry about collectibles because I, I kind of did all that shit. So I'm thinking I might chance that in fairness. So yeah, that might be the way to go here.
Get that ass. So I actually went straight to the DLC and it was a bit of a trip, not gonna lie. So there's creepy little solid snake-esque people in vents. Uh, there's a lot of miscellaneous trophies in the DLC, like killing two unsuspecting bastards with the same trap. That's gotta hurt. Um, yeah, the DLC overall, uh, I actually really, really enjoyed it. Um, much more than the base game. Now, trophy-wise again, just collectibles, like picking up little tapes there, creepy notes on sinister rocking chairs, all part and parcel of it, and the most picky damn one was the letter. You can read that. You can read that. Look at it. Come on. Oh, okay. Now it's legible. Whatever. Uh, I particularly enjoyed when I got a gun, as you can see here, because uh, the DLC mainly consists of you running around terrified with nothing but a light to guide you. Um, I got a trophy for hitting a button, whoop de doo um, and I got to push uh, unsuspecting people off scaffolding, that was fun. Now, I don't really know what happened here, um, I got the trophy, but I died, so I don't know, your guess is as good as mine, I, I suppose. Uh, the DLC was kind of just more fun and laid back than the main game, look at these funny little credits. Um, the Executioner DLC was a very, very uh, Bioshock challenge room-esque mode um, which you played as a safe head not to be confused with pyramid head um, again collectibles and various different means of killing people were focus of the trophy list look at me just blasting Sebastian into the next dimension here just firing every single thing I have at him and it worked a damn treat give me the trophy and a thank you very very much um, the most challenging trophy was um, to finish all the challenge rooms because uh, the last one is essentially a boss rush. Just you need to face hordes of enemies and all the bosses you faced up until this point in just one in one go, pretty much. But I actually thought it was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed going for this trophy. And at the end, you need to face the two boyos. Look at them there in their little vests. They're cool, not so cool when they get a rocket in the face. So if you're stuck on this mode, if you're going for this trophy, this would be my tactic. Essentially just wait for them to come out of the elevator and just blast a shitload of rockets at them. Because if you manage to kill one of them, um, it's fairly certain that you'll get the trophy because uh, the last one will walk slowly around the perimeter of the bus, giving you time to poke your head out and slash them in the face like that. Um, yeah, that was a fun fun trophy to go for. Um, I like that it was more combat focused and not gonna lie, that made it quite entertaining. And then the other trophy in execution, which I thought would be worse than it was, was a box of steel. That was essentially to beat the DLC without taking damage, but the checkpoints are very forgiving and if you, can, if you get hit just go to the last checkpoint. Uh, and then I had time to do one uh, run in the DLC for Not Afraid of the Dark, which is just Kirami, which uh, puts all the lights out, and that was a lot of fun. Anyway, on to the main event. <coughs> Fucking hell, cut it close there, hey? Oh, shit. <sighs> well... It's now September, and I still haven't platted the evil within. Uh, the last trophy I got for it was in April. So, um, what happened? Um, yeah, so I was feeling very good after the speedrun. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I think I, I have this. I think I'm over the rut, and I think that, yeah, I have this game. Whew. Akumu kicked my fucking ass. I mean, it, it, it kicked my ass. I couldn't get past chapter three. And I kept trying and trying and trying and trying. And I kept dying and dying and dying. So, yeah, I, um, I definitely will not be planning it. I'm happy I cleaned it up and I enjoyed my experience with the game. But you gotta know when to quit. And for me, I just find Akumu to be an insurmountable obstacle. I, I couldn't, couldn't get past chapter three. And you know what? 
I'm okay with that. I, I've been on a spade of playing more retro games, oddly enough. I started just picking up PS1 and PS2 games, so I was mainly playing those. Um, so it hasn't actually like put me off trophies in the same way as it did last year, but I just find myself playing other games and not really feeling the desire to put myself through the hell that was chapter 3. I think I gotta put my hands on set. I'm just not skilled enough for the Evil Within plat, guys. I tried, I cleaned it up, and it, it it's, it's done. It's done. So, yeah. So to answer the question, could I platinum the Evil Within? The answer is no. Like, no. I, I, I couldn't. But, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Play Jones!